Hello and welcome to the Fearless Design Action Hour. Woo -woo. First ever. I've got Becky P here with me. <laughs> and um, I think let's start off the day, unless you have something, um, with the idea of fearless design and how do we build <laughs> with uh, fearless design. Uh, so what are your first thoughts when you think of that? First thoughts, uh, fearless design. Okay, so fearless to me is about, you know, pushing the envelope, doing something different, trying something new or doing, not trying, but doing something new, taking action in a direction that um, may be unfamiliar and designing is really being on purpose, like it is intentional. Um, when we design something, it is intentional and it is focused um, and on purpose. So fearlessly designing something to, you know, and pulling in the, the build theme, right? Like where am I fearlessly designing to build my life? I would say is, you know, being willing to, to show up in the spaces intentionally that I am um, as myself. And yeah, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Being yeah, willing to show that. up as me. Yeah, and I love that you defined fearless to, um, to me because um, I've said this before, but it's good to remember that we all define words differently. We're not, um, you know, there may be a dictionary definition of a word, but that's not how everybody thinks of it. We don't all right. think of the word in the same way. And so I love that you said that. And then I love that you said willing because willing is probably the biggest part of fearless to me is that you're willing to do something regardless if you want to, regardless if it's scary, you're willing. You're willing to step into it. And I love that you said trying and then corrected yourself and said doing. And a really great other word to use is practice. You're practicing. So we are already out of time because we only had two minutes. So we will pause this discussion and come back to it. Are we all right? We are back uh, at the bottom of the first fearless design hour. And we were talking in the last bit about um, fearlessly designing uh, what we build, um, combining all the things. So uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to add to that? So I wanted to actually ask you because anyone that's watching this on YouTube um, on the replay, um, may not understand the fearless design, what that even means. So um, tell us more about what fearless design means to you and how you might um, be utilizing it in your life right now. Yeah, um, well, I just designed um, our five-day challenge, Get Fearless, um, no, Five Ways to Get Fearless is the name of our challenge. And um, when designing it, I definitely felt like I was being fearless because it's something I haven't done before. And so it was a risk in that way, as well as um, I trusted myself to write all the content. So creating all the posts, creating graphics, um, when to post them, um, how to post them, creating the worksheets in the workbook, um, you know, uh, doing the Facebook lives, all of that is new. All of it in some way is not new, though in this context, it's new um, because I've done all those things before, which are other times that I've fearlessly designed um, what is um, like our brand pretty much, or how we're going to post, what we're going to sound like, um, and what we're going to share. So I see it as a willingness to um, post or create with the possibility of it not being uh, perfect. Um, and also, 
uh, trusting myself to know what to say um, and for it to be received in a way, trusting that it will be received in the way that I am intending it to be received. So um, that's definitely me being fearless in the design of that. Um, and I've designed um, pretty much um, all of what Fearless Generation puts out. And that's a continuing of trusting myself to do that because I'm not only speaking for myself, but I'm also speaking for Terry. And so um, trusting that I can do that in a way that is um, trusting that I can do that in a way that is authentic to both of us. And um, a lot of stuff I run by her as well, just to make sure. Um, like I, I ran the, the workbook by her. Um, you know, I run all the workbooks and PowerPoints by her. So um, just not all the posts, because <laughs> that's that would get a little time consuming. Um, but um, but yeah, so that would be my um, my answer to that. Do you feel like did that did that answer the question for you? Yeah, something that um, with what you just said about you know you run the slides and the um, workbooks by her. I mean that makes sense to me. That's the communication, right? That's the communication between your partnership to know um, how you're both showing up and that's the posting. That's really the messaging. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is the top of the hour. So we will be back at uh, 10 after, uh, or if we have time, uh, 10 uh, within the next 10 minutes, we'll be back. That's what I was trying to say. We are at the bottom of the second fearless design hour, and we have uh, eight minutes to mastermind. So, um, are you wanting to continue on the same theme? Do you have another question? Do you have something that's come up that you want to share? Of what is fearless design? So something I want to draw out is why are your focus hours fearless? All right. Well, during uh, the training of becoming an MC, we were uh, to write down uh, five words that um, resonated with us. And I actually wrote down the word willing um, because willing is um, what I feel like I do. Um, I feel like a willingness is kind of at the core of fearlessness for me. And um, when I was describing that word to you and Suze, uh, you said, uh, isn't this being fearless? Um, and so I took on the word fearless, um, which makes sense because I'm a fearless living coach. Um, my business with Terry is Fearless Generations. And I uh, focus a lot of my coaching on being fearless and um, letting go of that fear and living in freedom. So it, uh, it made a lot of sense to take on the word fearless. Um, so yeah, but fearless has, for me, a lot to do about willing, being willing to risk, being willing to try, being willing to practice, being willing to uh, step into the unknown, being willing to um, see your innocence as well as the innocence of others. I don't know why I have that alarm. Um, and, um, and yeah, I mean, it, it, it really, for me, it comes down to uh, being willing to do it anyways. You know, when you're scared or triggered or uh, whatever might be going on, um, being willing to do it anyways. Uh, so did that. I love, 
answer your question? Yeah, of course. I love um, that it's about the willingness for you because when I, when I started like, I don't know, years ago, when I started following you, um, talking about, I was, I was in the same vein, right. Talking about being fearless. That was, that has been always in my brand as well. And, um, my personal brand, who I am is definitely, um, my family and friends would always say, I'm so bold. I'm so confident. Like, how do I, how how do I get that in my life? And I didn't know that that was a strength that I was willing to, um, do messy, imperfect action and, um, show up in the messiness, like the in-between moments of, we aren't sure what's going to happen, which is quite frankly, all day, every day, we don't know what's actually going to happen. So why do we overthink it so much? Right. And I love that you're talking about willingness because when I, um, really, when I learned that, that like you hearing, I mean, me hearing you talk about willingness, I was like, that I think is like my biggest strength is that I am willing to do things wrong. I am willing to, um, you know, not be fully put together. I'm willing to show up in the in-between moments where other people shrink back and would hide from it and say, not ready yet, not there yet, not willing to, um, you know, be vulnerable. And, um, I, I didn't know for the longest time that that was a strength that other people, um, could be empowered to just, you know, make a choice that you can do it too. So I love that. That's your word. I love that. That's what was drawn out because it was in alignment with you, right? It was just fully who you are. It's to to the bone, like who you are and something that has been in um, the vein of conversation in your life. And it just naturally aligned with, um, look at that steering wheel with, uh, who you are, Foxy. Um, so I wanted to make sure that everyone that's watching this, like starts to understand the theme, like the focus, not the theme, but the focus in each one of these hours, because it is specific to the individual that has chose to lead these hours chose to lead the the mastermind in their zenius, in your zone of genius, which is being fearless, being willing to do the things that not everyone is always willing to do and um, to guide people in building that muscle, that confidence to say, you can too. So I love, I love that you shared that. And I love that that's um, what is naturally drawn out in you and that you get to help this community and anyone that is willing to say, yeah, I want to focus on, you know, receiving support and doing that more. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sarah, you are coming in, uh, during our mastermind time and we are masterminding about fearless design, um, because these are normally Suze's design hours and I am supporting and picking up. Uh, the torch. And so we are doing fearless design. So Sarah, do you have anything you want to add with that thought of fearless design? Good morning, ladies. Um, actually, you guys, it's, oh no, it's only 11, right? Well, actually, Foxy's on my time. Um, fearless design. I think, I don't know. I, the only thing I can think of when I think of fearless design is like designing a life that's fearless. So being able to set yourself up. There's a book that um, somebody just introduced me to that I want to get after I'm done reading all the other books I want to read, but it's um, feel the fear and do it anyway. And so being able to do stuff anyways, like do it scared. And so doing things in life that scares you and not necessarily having to do a lot but at least aiming to do something in your life that scares you because it's like that whole thing that we do in the um my brain the group that you have with your you and your mom um that we do but the being able to step outside of your comfort zone because when you stay in your comfort zone I heard of it called the, or uh my brain I heard of it compared to being in a coffin, like your comfort zone can be your coffin. And so it's like, you're just kind of stuck there. Um, but when you're able to do things scared and, and 
feel the fear and do it anyways, you're being able to step out of your comfort zone and get through and make growth happen in your life. And so being able to experience growth is such a beautiful gift in life. And so being able to design your life around that, I think is something that everybody should be able to experience. Yeah, and they can. It's every it's something that everyone can experience. And I love that you talk about it that way because we just were talking about a willingness and that is a willingness, a willingness to um, be scared and do it anyways. And so that's right um, on topic with what we were talking about. So we're going to pause and come back to this um, when uh, if we have time. So. All right, ladies, so we've been talking about the last three hours It's the bottom of the third of the fearless design or designing fearlessly, however you want to say it. Um, we have been talking about what does that mean to you to design fearlessly um, and then also bringing in the theme of the month of build, um, you know, do you have something going on right now that you are fearlessly designing um that you are um creating building however that might be and sparkles i know you have a program i believe that you're designing um oh here's beck again um so maybe you want to talk about that or or um whoever wants to chime in um yeah for sure um around my program like fearlessly like just jumping in because I'm co-creating it with someone else so jumping in with her and just it's my first it's my first program ever so it's super scary to just like jump into something so big but um doing it fearlessly and knowing that whatever is meant to come out of it will come out of it perfectly and exactly how it's supposed to yeah Love that. Love that. Yeah. It takes a lot of trust. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. To be fearless. I think that um, trusting yourself is a huge component of being fearless, um, especially for me, because that's my that's my word. Um, that's my thing that I practice and have been practicing for uh, the last 16 years. And as I trust myself more, I discover different areas that I've been trusting myself, but haven't necessarily been giving myself credit for. So um, as you trust yourself, um, it's gonna, it's your trust in yourself is gonna increase and support you in being more fearless with what you're designing and what you're building for your future. So love, love, love that. All right, I am over my time. So I'm gonna end this and pass it over to Sparkles.